Hi everybody, this is Henry from BlueHeronArts.com. Um, we are now at an uh, uh, off-road spot of uh, Highway Highway 2, uh, Pacific Crest Highway. It's on the ridge of the uh, mountains and hills uh, on the Pacific Coast. First, let's take a look of the uh, take a look of a panoramic view of this uh, surrounding area, and we're just off the Andrews uh, National Forest. Um, I want to paint a long horizontal uh, hand scroll, so um, I'll do a quick sketch with ink. This is the place we are. There's a little driveway. Some traces. I'm using a landscape brush, the red whisker landscape brush. Very importantly, you don't uh, you always load ink, so you will get have all the ink um, from uh, ink values and the uh, you know, different uh, um, value and also the, the dry and the wet contrast. Exhausted. Now uh, reload. So, as the brush exhausts, I just um, use a little water without the ink. So, basically, one area I just use uh, one load of ink, then add water to it to do the uh, remote uh, middle ground. And I found this corner behind me very interesting, so I just do you know, very selecti selectively, not copy exactly one angle. You can see the, um, I add only the clean water to the uh, tip of the brush, but the because the brush is thirsty, the so ink in the heel now comes down. So I can use light, it will become darker. There's a little valley there, very interesting. So do not reload until the brush exhausts again. This is a, a Wincho a rice paper roll scroll. It's very long, so I can paint uh, as long as 10 meters. So touch a little water again, continue. So the the bottom uh, the ink in the bottom of the brush now comes down again. So 
you can see this uh, reverse gradation when they call it, uh, from light to dark. Okay, now the brush is thirsty again, so I load when only with water to the front. But the magic is uh, it comes down uh, with ink. Now you can see it's almost exhausted. So it's time to load with ink again. And when the brush is dark, you have to find a dark spot to work with. Um, so my water is always clean. Now the brush became thirsty again. I tend to touch the brush tip with a, the, the brush tip with water, so the ink comes down. See, it's not water, right? It's black. But I, I only load with water after. Uh, until the ink in the bottom of the brush dries, do not reload ink. So you have to, all you need to do is find a um, dark spot when the brush is dark and uh, do the light part when the brush is light. There's some clouds I have to kind of outline. Okay, now I have to move the paper to do the other side. Okay, now um, I load it on the right hand side, not working on the uh, left hand side. So remember the um, rule of the thumb is three dimensions on the division. You have to find, there are so many uh, hints here, so I have to be very suggestive, uh, selective. You can see the, the formation of the hill, it's just like uh, we learned from the uh, master seat garden of menu. That's why we need to study the tradition first and then you have to learn directly from nature to prove it. We call this uh, the hand coat. This is good for the uh, earth covered, not the rocky ones. Now again, I use uh, water. And uh, 
wet into a dry into wet how you call it with thirsty brush um, wet paper okay. now the remote mountain to roll this again. Several opening and the closing.
There are some very interesting uh, formations I saw on the way here, so I think based on the memory of those rocks. Final remote grounds. Just very sketchy. You can record color if you will um, with uh, some kind of code or you know, letters, but not uh, in the scene usually. Let's take a look of overall picture. Now we're going to see the whole picture in this with the background. Did it, oh, let's see. I wish you're not going to fly. <laughs> This paper is very strong, can make a kite with it. You can see it won't break. <laughs> <laughs> 